you hungry? No, not really. I have to go to the hospital and have my tonsils out. Oh. You scared? No, Mom said not to be, but I am. It's scary to be going into the hospital. Oh, hospitals aren't so bad. How do you know? I went on a field trip to a hospital with my special friend, Mickey Mouse. Mickey and I knew that the hospital was a place that sick people go to get better. But we didn't realize how many people there are at the hospital, all working together like a big team to help the patients. You mean doctors? Sure, doctors, but lots of others too. When you go into the hospital as a patient, the first one you usually talk to is the admitting person. She asks you lots of questions about the kinds of illnesses you've had and some other things. And then you get one of these. Mm -hmm. It looks like a bracelet. It has your name, a special hospital number, and your doctor's name too. That way, all the people working there will know who you are and who your doctor is, so everyone can help you better. The hospital workers all wear badges, so you know who they are too. Hi, Mickey and Robert. Hi. I heard you were coming. Nurse Stanton? Gee, guys are nurses too. Oh, you bet. So, uh, what do you think of our patients' rooms? <laughs> it doesn't look like my room at home. Oh, no. There are lots of things here that are different than your room at home. Even the bed. <laughs> With that button, we can make the bed move up and down. We can move your feet up, we can move your back up. Go ahead, Mickey, climb on. <laughs> See, it's fun now, but the real reason the bed moves like that is to make sure you're as comfortable as possible while you're getting better from an operation or an illness. Oh, Mickey, <laughs> these are rails to make sure that you don't fall out of bed. Oh, one other important button. What would you do if you were in bed and you needed to call the nurse? Nurse! <laughs> well, we have a better and a quieter way. That over there is the nurse's call button. Yeah, go ahead and pick it up, Robert. Now, press it. When you press the call button, a light comes on and a bell rings at the nurse's station down the hall. That's where the nurses work when they're not with the patients. When they hear that sound, they come to your room to see what you need. Now remember, you only need to press it one time. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Robert. Hi. I see you're getting the grand tour. I'm Nurse Lee. What do nurses do exactly? We have lots of responsibilities, like giving patients their medicine, taking their temperature and their blood pressure, and giving shots. Shots? Oh, yes. Very often, shots are the best way to get medicine into your body. Ooh. But don't they hurt? Usually only a little, and just for a second. Of course, doctors and nurses don't like doing things that hurt, but we have to do whatever is necessary to find out what's wrong and then to make it better. You sure have a lot of things to do in your job. How do you know what to do? We've all gone to a special school to learn our jobs, and we work together with doctors, like Dr. Taylor. Did I hear my name? <laughs> I was just explaining to Mickey and Robert what nurses do. Yeah, and now we have to go check on some patients, so maybe you can explain to them what doctors do. Well, sure. <laughs> okay. Bye. So long, Robert. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. My job is to try to find out what's making you sick and then deciding how to fix it. How do you fix it? Well, that depends on what's wrong. Sometimes all we have to do is give you medicine or tell you to rest, but sometimes we may have to put a cast on a broken arm or operate. Well, you have an important job. Yes, I do. But we all work together as a team. The nurses are an important part of the team. So are the people in the x-ray room. They take x-rays, pictures that help me see what's going on inside your body. The lab workers are part of the team, too. One thing they do is to take blood samples and do tests on the blood. Reading their reports also lets me know how your body's doing. You said you do operations. <laughs> I'd be scared to have an operation. Oh, well, sometimes it might be kind of scary, Robert, but let me show you what happens when we do an operation, and then maybe it won't be quite as scary. When we get ready for an operation, we want to be sure that we protect the patients from any germs we might have on us. We put on covers for our shoes, our clothes, our hair, and we even use a mask. Then we scrub our hands very carefully with special soap that kills germs.
This is how you'd be wheeled into the operating room, Mickey. Now, if we were going to operate, we'd move you over onto the operating table. Boy, huh. these lights sure are bright. Well, we need these very bright lights on so that we can see exactly what we are doing. These machines help me to know what's going on with your heart and your breathing. These are some of the instruments I use. And that's a tray full of medicine we might need. Then you do the operation? Well, once again, Robert, it's a team effort. I would do the actual surgery with several other doctors working together to help me. And there are nurses there, too, to hand us our instruments and help in other ways. And there's an anesthesiologist. Anesthesiologist? No, Mickey. An astro... Anesthesiologist. Oh, uh, what was that again? An anesthesiologist. That's a special kind of doctor who is responsible for making sure that you don't feel any pain during your operation. There are lots of ways to do this. One is to give you special medical air to breathe so you are asleep during the operation. Would you like to feel how the anesthesia mask fits over your nose and mouth? Well, okay. I see, it's not so bad. Here, you try, Mickey. No, it's not so bad. And sometimes the anesthesia is given with a shot so that only the part of your body they're working on doesn't feel anything while the rest of you stays awake. This is the recovery room. Here you sleep off the special air you've breathed or the shot you've had, and you wake up. The doctors and nurses here keep a close eye on you to make sure everything is going well. When you're ready, you go back to your room to rest. There sure are a lot of people working together here. It seems like it'd be hard to keep everything straight. Well, it's important that everyone know what's going on so that we can all work together. One thing that helps is the patient's chart. It's started by the admitting person, and then everybody who works with the patient keeps a record of what was done and when. Another important part of the hospital is the emergency room. Doctors and nurses here help people who have been in accidents or other emergencies. This room looks like a gym. It sure does. Physical therapists work here to help people whose muscles aren't strong enough to do what they need to do. Well, I guess we've seen everybody who works at the hospital, huh? Oh, no. There are lots more. More? Well, sure. For example, the switchboard people who answer all the phone calls that come into the hospital, the office workers, the dietitians who plan special patients' meals, Sick people often need special diets. And the food service people who make the food. And also the people who keep the hospital clean. And there are volunteers, too, who take around magazines and visit patients. It's neat how everybody works together. But you know what? I'd still rather not be sick than have to come here. Me neither! Oh, well, nobody likes being sick. But did you know that people also come here to learn how to stay well? For example, we have first aid classes here. And of course, right here at the hospital, new doctors and nurses get training. Gee, if we decide to become doctors, we might get part of our training here. Dr. Mickey, I like the sound of that. So that's our hospital. And getting sick is never fun, but if you do, now you know there are lots of people here who will work together to help you get well. Thanks, Dr. Taylor. Thanks for telling me all about the hospital. That's okay. Are you still scared? No, not really. Good, I'm glad. I wonder if I'll share my hospital room with somebody really neat.